Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another love fight. Leo, let's see what are the messages here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Leo spirit. Leo. Okay, Leo, first, first line is for one person and the second line is for the other. You could be either, okay? But for the first person, I have the Four of Cups. Knight of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Second person, Six of Swords, Temperance and the Eight of Cups. <laughs> All right, Mutual Energies, Judgment, High Priestess and the Page of Pentacles. Bottom of my deck, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody here doesn't want to have a missed opportunity. They don't want to have a missed opportunity. I think for one person here, let's call the first line person A and the second line person B. You could be either one of them, Leo, okay? So the first person, person A, is very, very sad. They could be missing their person a lot. Even if they have other options, they don't want any. All they can think about is that one person who they want to rush towards. I think they still have a lot of attraction for their person and they can't stop missing that person. The other one says, yeah, this was all, uh, this was too much trouble, Omkara Taro. I think I need to move on and find my own peace and happiness elsewhere. Right now I'm healing. I'm, this connection was not emotionally satisfying for me. All the cups were empty. So I am detaching from this connection and I'm moving on. So now what's going to happen? I don't know. These are your mutual energies, which of course I'll clarify after clarifying these first two lines. But first let's start with... Um, Let's start with your dialogue, dialogue message cards. Let's see, Leo, if you guys could say something to each other right now, what that would be, and then I'll clarify these. Leo and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Leo and their person spirit. All right, let's take a few more from another deck, Leo. Leo and their person, if they could say something to each other now. What would that be? All right, and just a few more from a third deck as well, Leo, and then we'll start the reading. Leo and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And Leo, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I feel so guilty when I'm with anyone else. All I can think about is you. That's the first card anyway. It's like even if they have other options, they don't want any other option now. You say that I'm your divine true, true love and that I'm always on your mind. I don't understand then how you could have then ghosted, ignored and even blocked me so much over the years. There are times when you've denied my very existence so much that I felt the pain might only end if I no longer existed. This could be person B who says then if you, you know, that that's how you feel then why did you treat me so badly? I always knew since the first day that you were the one for me. I believe that we are meant to be together forever in every single lifetime. I recognized you the moment our eyes met for the first time. Well, I've put things on hold now to re-evaluate our relationship. It's like if you knew that I was your one, then why did you treat me that way? Right? So that's the question, I think. I pushed you away because I was hiding my feelings for you. Here's the answer. Now I want to hold you tight in my arms and never let you go. After I found you, I never looked back. I have trust issues. I'm working on building courage. You touched my soul even before I knew what physical touch feels like. You are the reason I smile. We are made for each other. I've realized we have a past life together. I get so annoyed with your constant need to control everything and denial of your triggers. If I upset you, 
I want you to be honest with me, but you use silence as manipulation to gain control. We should be able to talk it out like grown-ups. All right. So these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, Leo, let's start the reading. But first, I'm going to take, as always, an angel blessing card. And this one is going to be for the viewer. Now, you could be watching um, Leo. Maybe your cross-watcher is checking on your energy. So this blessing, guidance, advice, or message is for the viewer and two popped out for you so i'm going to take them both leo so one is a retreat i think one person has taken a step back from this connection which could be person b and that is leading to a lot of stress and anxiety to to the first person so take care of your stress manage your stress at this time maybe some take take a little time out as well and just kind of um, Settle your own emotions before you head out and do or say something you may, might regret. I do see some very spontaneous action that at least one of you want to take. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with the person A's energy. The first line, okay? So tell me, person A, what's the four of cups in your feelings right now? What's the four of cups? This person wants to fight for a new beginning. This person is getting irritated agitated because all they can think about is i want a new beginning i want a new beginning i'm missing them what they truly want is to rush towards their person and do what knight of swords <laughs> tell their person that i'm ready for a ten of cups why why do you want to tell them tell me they want to start from scratch they're looking into their future and um, they want to transform this connection this person has been hiding their feelings for a very very long time maybe play, playing hot and cold or afraid to express their emotions i think now they want to be done with the waiting they don't want to keep the door open anymore they want to now choose the direction of their person who maybe in the past they were holding back from or maybe they were afraid or they had they were in some toxic patterns or something now this person i think wants to revive this connection they could have been a ghoster in the past they could have cheated lied ghosted done something and now they are very 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 frustrated because they realize i made some very unwise and foolish choices they are hoping that the other person is still single and available because they are probably watching them or something, seeing that the other person is looking really attractive or following their own passions and maybe getting a lot of attention. So they want to rush back in and uh, tie the other person down and say, no, you're my ten of pentacles. They want to talk to, talk to the other person. But somewhere I think they are afraid that the other person may not be as willing or may have boundaries up. So that's the only thing that's stopping this person from coming forward and having this straightforward conversation. They want to sit down on the table like Ace of, uh, uh, sorry, Queen of Swords to the King of Swords and let's talk it out, let's talk it out. Uh, they want to talk about all their regrets and you know, why things happen and what, blah, 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 whatever. But right now, I think they're, they're a little afraid that the other person may not even be single or what if they don't want them back. So they are watching, they are spying. They are having this entire conversation, I think, in their head right now. Doing all the question answers in their own head. Okay, so person B, what about you? How are you doing now? Uh, person B says, I am uh, sailing off to finding my own peace, my own happiness, Omkara Taro, this person who I was dealing with, they just broke my heart, they made promises they never kept, it was an ongoing, you know, re repetitive cycle with them, right now I'm just healing my broken heart from that, temperance, yeah, it's like they never made a choice, they never made a choice and then whatever was revealed to me, I figured that maybe uh, I was dealing with somebody who never had any good intentions towards me anyway. Maybe I was just dealing with some kind of a trickster or something. They never gave me a love offer. They never even came to apologize with, to me. They haven't even messaged till now or, you know, said anything to rectify the situation. And I'm not going to do it either. I've been doing it all along and now I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm giving up on the situation now. I'm dropping the ball. I'm dropping the ball. I was not emotionally satisfied in this connection and that's the reason I'm leaving 
all these empty cups behind and moving on to finding my own peace and my own happiness elsewhere yeah they feel that their person was never making a decision never making a decision always keeping the door open making them feel like an option gave them a lot of stress lot of anxiety sleepless nights and that's the reason i think the other person person b is uh, just going with the flow and maybe moving on okay so let's see what your mutual energies are then leo a uh, spirit for the first person who's now missing the other person who wants to rush back and fight for their connection and maybe you know just go get them kind of a feeling i'm getting here what do these three cards mean for them judgment okay so they do want a second chance they want to revive this connection yeah they are a little scared to take action yeah they're a little confused about how to get to their person because maybe the other person has gone silent on them so they don't know how it's going to work how they, what what effort what work can they put in they're very burdened very overwhelmed because uh, i think there is silence between the two of you and they know that they would have to be the one to open their heart or break the silence they do want to come forward with something a very stable offer but they are not sure whether the other person will see it as a big offer or will even want them back right so they do want to come back and pull out those swords that they you know hurt their person with and maybe start from scratch so i think the only nervousness is about how do i break the silence how how do i take action now so tell me person b what about you you're walking away it seems you've given up on the situation how are you feeling judgment what's the judgment one more i think person b is not waiting anymore from what i feel they are passing judgment it's almost like i'm passing judgment on them because they never offered me any commitment they never offered me any commitment they were keeping secrets from me they were taking too long i have a feeling person a always one thought that this was their soulmate they were always dreaming that you know i i want to be their partner i want to be their long term you know partner in life or something they were looking for commitment they were hoping that things could be rebuilt but they kind of got frustrated because too much time went by and the other person never made an effort i think person b just got tired of waiting waiting for a runner to return so they are listening to their own intuition right now high priestess high priestess so the and in their mind i think they feel that uh, the reason the other person has not returned to them or tried to reconcile with them is because they are out there in a party mode or having fun elsewhere or maybe they have th third parties or something so they are saying you know what i am going to now uh, shut down maybe heal my own broken heart and walk away from the situation once and for all if they are not making an effort i don't want to fight for this connection either i'm not going to put in any more time investment energy into a situation which doesn't fructify i'm going to put a lid on that cup of love and give all that love 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 to myself and maybe who knows i can start something new find a brand new partner have a passionate brand new beginning and not feel lonely all the time give my love to somebody else So that's where you guys are at now. I don't think the first person wants to have this missed opportunity though. Tell me about the 7 of pentacles in reverse. 7 of pentacles. Yeah, they want to break the stagnancy. This person wants to come forward. They have now recognized the connection. They they want to talk. They want to bring back all this happiness back. It's like I want to I want to talk. You are my happiness. You are the one who makes all my dreams and wishes come true and I'm ready to take responsibility. At least that's what they are hoping to do. Yes, they are itching to take action. There's a little bit of fear. Uh, so well they know that they have to be the ones now to reach out or open up. So they are trying to find maybe the right moment or try and spy on the other person to see where the other person's mindset is at. So that's what I have for you till next time then Leo love and light take care namaste